use the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console to create an autonomous database instance and create a user. You can start from the cloud.oracle.com homepage. Click Sign In. On the Cloud Account page, enter the cloud account name that you received from your welcome email or your cloud administrator. Click Next. Enter your username and password. Click Sign In. On the Oracle Cloud Console, click the navigation menu in the upper corner to show top-level navigation choices. This video shows the steps to create an autonomous database in autonomous transaction processing. The same steps apply to creating an autonomous database in autonomous data warehouse. In the list of available services, select Autonomous Transaction Processing. The console for Autonomous Database appears. You can use the List Scope drop-down menu to select a compartment. In this example, the Dock compartment is selected. Although this console shows that no databases have yet been created, if there were a long list of databases, you could filter the list by using the Filters drop-down menu to filter the state of the database – available, stopped, terminated, and so on. You can also filter the list by workload type. You can choose Transaction Processing or Data Warehouse as your workload type. Click Create Autonomous Database. In the Create Autonomous Database dialog, select a compartment for the database from the drop-down list. Enter a database display name for display purposes. Enter the database name. Choose the workload type. Autonomous Transaction Processing is automatically selected. You can alternately choose Data Warehouse as the workload type. Choose the deployment type. Serverless will automatically be selected. This choice runs the autonomous database without provisioning a dedicated infrastructure. Otherwise, you can choose the dedicated infrastructure deployment type to run the autonomous database on a dedicated Exadata infrastructure. You can optionally create an always free database. Always free databases are provided free of charge and are suitable for small scale applications or for learning about and exploring Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Specify the number of CPUs for your service. Select your storage capacity in terabytes. If you select the auto-scaling option, because your workload requires additional CPU and I.O. resources, the database automatically uses the resources without any manual intervention required. Oracle periodically provides a preview version of Autonomous Database. You can enable the preview mode to test your applications and become familiar with features in the next release of Autonomous Database and specify an administrator password for the admin user of the service instance. For license type, select whether you are using an included license or bringing your own license. Click Create Autonomous Database. The Create Autonomous Database dialog closes. On the console, the state field indicates that the database is provisioning. When creation is completed, the state field changes from provisioning to available. Once you have created the instance, download the credential zip file for client access to that instance. From the Autonomous Database Details page, click DB Connection. Download a zip file containing the security credentials and network configuration files to access your instance. Oracle recommends you download the database-specific wallet type, Instance Wallet, to provide to your end users and for application use whenever possible. The other wallet type, Regional Wallet, should only be used for administrative purposes that require potential access to all autonomous databases within a region. You're prompted to create a password for the credential zip file. Enter a password and click Download to download the file. Store the file and make note of the password. Some database clients require both the credentials wallet and the password to connect to the database. SQL Developer versions 18.2 and later don't require the password. Now you can define a SQL Developer connection to the database in your Autonomous Transaction Processing service. Click New Connection to open SQL Developer and define a connection. Specify a connection name. Enter the database username using the default administrator database account admin that is provided as part of the service. Enter the admin user's password that you or your cloud administrator specified when creating the service instance. For connection type, select Cloud Wallet. For the configuration file, click Browse and select the client credential zip file 
And if you're using a version of SQL Developer older than 18.2, there is a Keystore password field for entering the client credential zip file password. For the service, select TP Urgent, TP, High, Medium, or Low. These service levels map to the TP Urgent, TP, High, Medium, and Low consumer groups, which provide different levels of performance and concurrency. Click Connect to connect to your database. Once you have connected SQL Developer to your Autonomous Transaction Processing Database, use a SQL Developer Worksheet to define database users. Autonomous Transaction Processing Databases come with a predefined database role named DW Role. This role provides the common privileges for a database user. For detailed steps on performing the example shown in this video, go to the Oracle Learning Library and open the tutorial named Getting Started and Provisioning an Autonomous Database. Learn more at cloud.oracle.com/atp.